Well, while bugs are typical in summer, many on social media have been wondering why are there so many right now? And do they normally swarm the sky like clouds of smoke? Well, experts say one bug in particular has been particularly active, and they tell our Armand Raman they're good for Madison's lake environment and they won't be around much longer. They've swarmed the skies of Madison this week. Kind of eerie, you know, really kind of strange looking. But what are they? Look like plumes of smoke. A sign of the apocalypse? You hear like a, like the swarm of locusts or something that are just going to come like, you know, devour everything. JJ Raps lived in his downtown apartment for about three years and never seen anything like this. So he filmed it and took to social media. Out over Wilson the Street. And so it was kind of crazy to see like right around 8.30 p.m., you know, that hits and they all kind of started swarming again. And it was like the exact same places that I saw them the day before. You might have wished the invasion stayed in the sky, but many have been swatting at the bugs on walks or bike rides. Everything was just covered with them for the last probably almost week. Like the entrance to the apartment building, like you couldn't really go, you know, near a light source without getting pelted by little flies everywhere. Fear not, they're not heralds of doom. Midges, they're also commonly known as lake flies. For UW-Madison's bug guy, PJ Leash, they're less foul and more fascinating. This here does really seem to be standing out in terms of the intensity of the midge activity. Leash says midges are born and spend their young life down in the sediment of Madison's lakes. Every May for a couple of weeks, they take to the skies to make more midges. <laughs> If you think you've been single too long, the clock's literally ticking for a lake fly. And they'll live for about two weeks or so. So they really have this short window of time to go about finding a mate, laying eggs, and then that's all that they have in store. So don't worry, they're not hungry, for you at least. They're completely harmless to humans. They don't bite, they don't have a stinger and can't sting us. Leash says don't spray them or use repellent. If they're crowding your screens and windows, reduce outdoor lights. Take a broom or brush of some kind and simply brush them away if they seem to be collecting on the side of your house. Those hordes in the sky are just insects getting intimate, if that makes you feel any better. It's kind of a good sign of like the health of our lakes and the environment and stuff. Making it hard to leave your house <laughs> without getting swarmed by flies is uh, probably the worst part for us, at least. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rama, News 3 Now. It's good to know they're good. Well, Leash says the prime time to see these swarms of midges is between 7 and 9 p.m., and they'll often contrast their formations against other objects in the landscape.